Yo, what's up guys? I think Navy or Fruit or someone watched my video and uh, they have been buffing a ton of units. So let's take a look at Boros's buff. A lot of people have been asking me to take a look at it in my comments and chat. So here we go guys, let's go get Alien Boss and let's compare him to, um, we'll compare him to our boy, Gilgamesh. All right, the previous highest damager. And we're gonna see which one is better and how much Boros got buffed. If you guys don't know, pre-buff, he was doing about 80 million damage with no buffs on it. So let's also bring Almighty and uh, let's get it cracking, guys. <sighs> All right, here we go, guys. Whew. Anyways, let's get it started. Let's go check out his starting stats. Let's see if they changed at all. 128 for seven, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not really seeing much of a change on the starting stats. My guess is most of the things happened at the end. So uh, let's get him and let's compare him with Gilgamesh though, you know? Maybe uh, we'll see which one's starting stats are better. So 50K versus 600, so it's kind of hard to compare. So let's get him to roughly the same price. Uh, there we go, 4K. So roughly the same price, 30K to 34K. Um, Boros is actually doing more damage now. But again, he does have a slower SBA, so it is roughly even. So, not bad at all. So he's now basically on par with Guild. So here we go, 25 for 2.79, um, 65 for 2.39. So you could, again, he does have a way faster SBA. So again, I would say roughly on par with Gilgamesh now. Galactic Crash for 8.19. All right, 5.09 and then 8.39. So one, well, 4K, so a little bit, half the price and very, very similar. Roughly similar damages. All right, 200K. So now very, very similar prices. And it looks like he is doing 20 for three versus eight for six. So they kind of trading blows now, neck and neck. Three million, seven million for, and then we got another 4.5 million. So roughly the same price now, 3.95 to four. Uh, we're doing 75 for nine versus 35 for 12. So actually, on this upgrade in particular, Boros has actually taken the edge over him. Now, I will say Boros also does have a 20% buff, so that does kind of skew things a little bit, making them a little bit more close to equal, but this upgrade just isn't it. However, whenever you max them out, 153 for 12 versus 190 for 12. So uh, uh, I guess factoring in the 20% buff, they're going to have very, very similar, if not identical. However, the one difference is this guy is uh, has a nicer AoE. This guy has a nice AoE, but I will say Gilgamesh does have a way better AoE, and he does have this ability as well. However, this is a very nice buff, guys, over 200% damage. So a very nice buff on Boros, 200% increase, and uh, that's very nice. So Boros, well, I won't say he's quite meta again. He's up there and in the conversation at least. So there you go, guys. Boros is no longer absolute dog water.